Hello gamers. I was online. I was like, "There's is there anyone streaming that I usually watch?" And I looked through all my usual channels and it's like, "No, not really." So I was like, "Hey, what if I stream instead?" Then I thought, "No, I have so much work to do. I can't just do that." And then I turned it on anyway. Your sound alert browser source is offline. Make sure you've implemented the source correctly in OBS or refresh the source. Do I have sound alerts turned on? Did you check to see if the dual logs was streaming? The dual logs is streaming. <clears throat> Hi, how are you doing? Did you like my custom cards for the Vendred archetype? Oh, I don't look at custom cards if they're sent outside of the custom card submission date. I forgot what I was doing. <gasps> Kokoro. No, I don't want to hear myself. Nothing pisses me off more than hearing my own voice. Over here, I have a blurp on Lauren. Edit panels. I have a blurp on Lauren. I thought I fucking muted myself. <sighs> okay, what the fuck is this thing called again? It's called sound alerts. Hold up, I'm setting up stuff in the back end. Give me a second. I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> Do I even have sound alerts set up? Blurps, smart, uh, deactivate, streamlabs schedule and countdown discoverability, uh, sound alerts, add, open dashboard. <gasps> Why is this showing? And also, why am I a, a ghost? <gasps> Look. Why, why is it like doing that? One second, it's not properly fitted to the screen. There we go. Now it's fixed. Now we, we have proper ghost spider status. Okay, I accept. I don't know what this is. I don't really want to set this up right now. <gasps> the Grinch? Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate. No. <laughs> These are all stupid as fuck. <laughs> Mr. McPhoenix. I wrote a BFE for another stream today, so my day was good. How was everyone else's? <gasps> you wrote a BFE script? Me too! <laughs> you guys want to hear it? I spent lots of time and effort writing this script. Uh... Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I was playing the deck last night. Let's see here. So what we're playing today is... Um, Counter Very Zark. Your ghost is too big? Hi. No, it's the perfect size. Hey, look. It's Tina Chino. The BFE logs. So, oh, I forgot I had Branded Fusion in this deck. Oh, I also have Dimension Shifter. Okay, let me explain to you guys how this deck works. Whoa, zoom in on the ghost? No, it's zoomed in because of the, the spider on his head. See? There, now it's better. So, um... Hi, chat. Hello there, Tina Chino. Before or after the Improm Class collab last night? Wait, what happened last night? Jimmy kills a lot. What were you thinking? Are you sending Morse code? Are you in trouble? 
You're a mean one, Mr. Logs. Wait, what happened? What happened last time? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> I mean, when I went to Meowie stream for a little bit? Did you know that last December 15th was my birthday? Hey, buddy. I hope you had a good Christmas. Happy New Year. Excited for the New Year's. Metalogs, Dexlogs, videos. <gasps> Why, thank you, UC Suki. Oh, also, thanks for the resub, JNC. I finally caught a stream during my shift. Was up? Hello there. I don't know how I missed your message. Maybe it's because I wasn't on a screen that had notifications turned on. Are you the ghost of Christmas past? Yes. The BFE logs? What are you guys talking about? Oh my, don't tell Leah. I mean, that's the plan. Before or after the Impromptu collab last night? What the fuck are you guys talking about? I feel like I'm missing some context here. Oh well, it's not important. What about Mana Dome? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, so here's how this works. I see lots of people cry about Dimension Shifter. It's like, why are you playing Dimension Shifter? What, 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 is, what is this? You're, you're not playing Flu. How come you're playing Dimension Shifter? Here's what Dimension Shifter does if you're playing a trap-based deck. So, say you're going second. Your opponent goes first. You throw down Dimension Shifter. They end their turn because lots of decks can't play over it. Then you go, going second. Your opponent doesn't do anything. And you set all your traps and pass to your opponent, and it's as if you've gone first. Dimension Shifter basically allows you to go first if you're going second, which is huge for decks that need to go first, like any trap-based deck. That's how you use it, because you're not really using your graveyard in the turn. You do need your graveyard too, but your opponent needs it more than you. If you do go first and you draw into Dimension Shifter, you know, it sucks for you, but again, you're setting up going first, so you still have the advantage. Like, that's, that's the whole point of Dimension Shifter. Now that we've gone over that, I hope you guys understand how to use Dimension Shifter in a trap-based deck. What if your opponent plays trap-based decks too? Uh, no one does that. Trap-based decks suck. Sorry, I know I can't play this. I clicked it by mistake. Counter varies. Zark. Oh, I already have it selected. Let's go, gamers. What is Zark doing there? Uh, Zark is a one card, just like get four fucking monsters on the board. It's, it's pretty good. <gasps> Going first! Did you watch the soccer finals? No. I did not. I don't care. Even a little bit about soccer. I've watched so many soccer anime and I still don't care about the sport even a little bit. Ooh, guiding Ariane. Put it into the P scale. Now I have, oh, so much counter traps, and then I have Fallen of Albaz, a blaze, for some reason. I forgot why I'm playing this card. While you, let's see, uh, leaves the field, while there's, you control a fusion monster. <gasps> ooh, trap tricks. Excellent. Yes, I'd like to use Maxi so I can negate a special summon. <laughs> You're about to pee on the scales? Yeah, exactly. Go into Trap Trick Sarah. Excellent. Draw a card. Cool. One of the funny things about Trap Tricks decks is that if you just don't do anything and just attack with what you have on board, you can win. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. <gasps> Ooh, I can use... No, Trickstar Light State searches. I want to just attack first. Crash into Sarah, because I usually don't have battle traps. All of their stuff is reactionary, none of it reacts to attacks. Compulse? Who the fuck plays Compulse? Get this shit out of here. Hey, it's the Duel Logs. Hello there, it's me, the Duel Logs. Generally, Trap Tricks decks don't play Compulse because it doesn't proc any of their effects. So get that shit out of here. Stupid Trap Trick Sarah. The effect was negated. <laughs> Alright, now I can use Trickstar Light Stage without proccing Sarah's effects. Um, activate Candina. Use Trickstar Light Stage, which completely shits on Trap Tricks. Let's target this card right here. Alright, now it's not a problem this turn. 
Normal summon Candina. Search out Corbane from the deck. Oh, ooh, I can search out another light stage or a reincarnation. I forgot it's anything. Are you riding on a big snowball? No, I'm riding on um, a ghost. I can go into Preda Plant Verte Anaconda. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. Preda Plant Verte Anaconda. Hopefully they don't have any way to stop this. Because I don't have any way to stop it. Okay, Verte Anaconda. 500 attack. Do they have Network Trap Hole? I don't think Network Trap Hole does anything. I forgot Verte was legal. Another Compulse? <laughs> Why the fuck are you playing Compulse in a Trap Tricks deck, you absolute buffoon? Oh, I'm sorry, you you, you complete um, smart person who's probably very well adjusted. Branded Fusion. Yeah, and then Trickstar Light States into the grave. Oh, it was Gravedigger's Trap Hole. Get fucked, idiot. I mean, uh, wow, I gotta stop being so toxic. Maybe it's a Trap Tricks Labyrinth deck? Maybe. Target a card in the graveyard. Let's negate that with Solemn Strike. We do Kata Binging. What? What does that even mean? How was your vacay, Mr. Logs? It was kind of boring. However, there was one thing I realized after being on vacation. I was in a convention center where my cell phone just didn't fucking work most of the time for like to get internet specifically. And not having internet for so long meant I couldn't receive messages and more importantly I couldn't send messages. So having like a complete detox on talking to people was so nice. <gasps> Ice Dragon's Prison? Uh oh, are they both fairies? They are both fairies. Looks like I'm getting ham boned here. Hello there, the one Jame. Yeah, so. Anyways, uh, we'll just let it go. No! Get sent. Oh, it was a torrential tribute. Oh, okay, so he would have destroyed my stuff, anyways. Hope you have a good. The mech logs and the dex logs in 2023. I think they're using the wrong traps. I think they don't know how trap tricks are supposed to work because they keep not using trap tricks cards. Hello there, the one Jame. What's crack a and Yeah, get crunked. Yeah, so I think it was very nice to uh, not have to talk to anyone for so long. Dogmatica punishment, and then get rid of this. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to click on it. I meant to get rid of the notification. Mr. Logs, will you marry me? No. Someone giving me a sub to Meowie? Nice. The pendulum. Oh yeah, I have the pendulum effect of guiding Ariande. This card right here makes it so I don't have to pay the cost for most counter traps. If it requires to pay life points, I just don't. If it requires you to discard, you just don't. It's really good. It's like the ultimate piece of trap of counter trap support. And also, if it's destroyed, you get to search out a counter trap from your deck. Five D's question mark. What do you mean five D's question mark? Do you mean 5Ds today? <gasps> Wait, what are they doing? Special summoning a Trap Tricks monster from your graveyard? Let's destroy it. Hi chat, hello there chat. What the logs talking about? No one plays Trap Tricks immediately before going against a Trap Dick? I mean, I'm gonna win. My Trap Deck is better than your Trap Deck. Summon it out, activate Natis in the graveyard. Do do Air E and Knee Ariana is pronounced like that. Airy Air E Adni Airy Adni? Is that how you say it? Airy Adni Airy Adni Airy Adni Is it seriously knee and not like nay? <gasps> Temple of the Kings! Whoa, amazing! Let's get this new card down. Since I know what the other one is. A Compulse? <laughs> Another fucking Compulse? 
<laughs> I think this dude has too much, uh... Ooh! And a fusion monster is in your graveyard. <gasps> Ooh! Gravedigger's trap hole. Oh, damn it. This guy has, um... Labyrinth on the brain. Okay. Normal summon... Ariandni. Apparently that's how you pronounce it. Trickstar light stage. Add a Trickstar monster from- I don't even have Trickstar monsters in my deck, you absolute buffoon. Three of them. Now that I have a fusion monster in the graveyard, my card is always live. Okay, now I have Temple of the King, so I can use trap cards to turn their set. Which isn't super useful, to be honest. And then I can just keep attacking with Guiding Ariand Knee. A Aeron. I remember when Yu-Gi-Oh was fun all about hype trap turnabouts. Now it's just monster negates into oblivion. You're correct. That's why the best deck in this format doesn't have a single negate. <gasps> Ooh, I think I might actually win with this. It's a persona character too. Ariandni. How do you pronounce it again? Ariande? Like Ariana, Ariande, Ariadne, Ariadne, Ariadne. Are you sure it's not Ariadne? Because Ariadne doesn't sound right, because there's only one E there. Like Yandere, Arianda Garande. Yeah, exactly. If only they were playing more trap hole cards, they might have stood a chance. <gasps> I'm at gold one? Oh my goodness gracious. Kazukashi. Do I not have Bountiful Artemis? Why am I not playing three copies of Bountiful Artemis? Also, why am I playing any copies of Temple of the Kings? Like, I don't need that. I don't need this in my life. M1 Garnet, Hazukashi, Air E Adni, Ariadne? Is it Ariadne? Okay. <gasps> Going first again. I'll take your word for that. It's Ariadne. Guiding Ariande. Don't rig up by accident? I won't. Unless I keep winning with this amazing deck. Wait, how am I so high in rank? Wasn't I playing my one uh, <laughs> really bad deck yesterday? Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Imagine if Vlogs' distraction ends up ranking up into plat. I won't. You were in the event for a while? The event doesn't rank you up, though. I missed yesterday's stream? <gasps> I talked all about my trip in yesterday's stream. And how important and spiritually awakening it was for me. I was like, yes. That was a trip of all time. Activate Candina to search out Corbane, then go into Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. Hello, my favorite streamer slash YouTuber. <gasps> I, I'm not Mr. Beats. Mr. Beast. Okay, Corbane. I heard you got a boyfriend. <laughs> no. I thought I meant reading it as Ariane. Counter Fairies to Diamond One. I could take Counter Fairies to Diamond One. This deck is very good. Mr. Beats. Lord of the Heavenly Prison is my best friend. Mine too. Cyframe Lord Omega? Oh, you stupid bitch. You absolute buffoon. You're getting baited. I have no follow up to this, but still getting baited. Okay, set one and pass. I have one chap trap card, which literally cannot be activated because I need a counter trap in my hand to use it. And uh, three other cards that I can't use. So you could say the strategy is going pretty well. Dual Logs woke up today and chose to be toxic. Yes. I live with Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Ooh, 400 damage. Have you ever went to plat before? By accident sometimes.
Red Rose Dra Wait, are they playing... What? Did they not get the memo that Halki Fibrax is banned? Is this Adventure Tenny? I, I think so. What are they going into? They're actually going into a level 7 Synchro Monster? <gasps> Black Rose Dragon? Holy shit. Oh my god, are they going to blow up the field? Is this a, like, actual Rose Dragon deck? I think they're deciding if they want to blow up the field or not. Do you want to destroy my Candina and or Light Stage? Looks like they decided not to. This card's normal summon at a Rose Dragon. They can go into a level 10 now. <laughs> they can go into Barone. <laughs> Hockey rule play. Oh my god, is it a lore deck? You can go into a Rover Dawn with the Ancient Gear Link monster. No, you can't. Okay. They're using those two to go into a Barone instead of their own boss monster. Of course. The Rosamy deck. Oh my god, Barone de Fleur is also like a rose theme deck. I never noticed that. Okay, what are you going to do with your Baron de Fleur? Attack one of my two cards. Once per turn, target one card in the field and destroy it. Hopefully they tiger at my back row. <laughs> Thank goodness. They literally just wasted the effect. You absolute buffoon. Now they're going to attack. So it's lore accurate? Oh well, I can't even use my cards anyway, but I do want to bait out its one negate. Wait, was that their whole play was just going into Baron and that's it? Like, no follow-up? Okay, my turn. <gasps> I can use Rebirth of Parshath now! <gasps> oh, are they going to use this turn? Okay, I'm going to crunk him. So, we're going to activate Dogmatica Ecclesia. To special summon from the hand. Bait out the negate by Baron de Fleur. Hopefully we bait out the effect of Varon de Fleur. So I can counter trap it with Rebirth of Parshath. Yes. They're going to try to negate it. I'm going to activate Rebirth of Parshath. Reveal Rebirth of Parshath in my hand to negate. And then shuffle the card back into the deck. I'm going to shuffle, discard this one. And then I get to summon a monster from the extra deck. And then I get to summon Lord of the Heavenly Prison from my hand. And then that's game over, bitches. And oh, I get to draw a card. I forgot about that. I actually got to use my goddamn card. Okay, and then use Dogmatica Ecclesia, and then activate Lord of the Heavenly Prison in the hand to summon itself. Oh, <gasps> do I have that one card that summons itself from the hand if I control an extra deck monster? Virtuous? No, I don't. Just Dogmatica Punishment. Okay, this should be enough damage on board. I don't want to do math, but I'm pretty sure it's enough. 16, 15, 26, and then 3,000. What was the overkill? That was 1,100 overkill? Nice. <laughs> wow, this deck is too good versus all of these gold league players. Why do I have two notifications? Why are there two notifications? Okay, counter varies the arc. Amazing. Whoa, this deck slaps. I know, right? Barone, pass your move, Mister. <laughs> Barone, pass. Target my back row that can't be destroyed. Using their negation effect as a way to remove their monster and get a monster on my side of the field. I got three ads and lost the entire duel. Yeah, the duel's over really quickly. <gasps> Who's going first? Me? Ooh, Branded Fusion. That's a good way to open. It sucks that I drew into only Rebirth of Parsha. Because I need the other ones. Alright, that was Ash Blossomed. Well, that happens most of the time. No biggie. 
That just means I lose the entire duel. Okay, guiding Ariande. Normal summon Dogmatica Ecclesia. Search out punishment. And then set two and pass. And I need to draw into a fucking counter trap with Maxi so I can actually use Rebirth of Parsha. Come on, Maxi. Resolve correctly for me. Ooh, this is Lily? <gasps> it's Lily? Oh my god, my opponent actually chose something other than the default field. Magical Meltdown. Maxi, bitches. Unfortunately, I can't really use Rebirth of Parshath versus them. They opened two Ash Blossoms? Aw, oh, you bitch. I can't believe you've done this. That's kind of bad. <laughs> Where's the third Ash? <laughs> Alistair the Invoker? I could use Dogmatica Punishment, but that's not going to do anything. Other than not allow them to go into Macaba. Is this what we called getting nay nade? I am getting nay nade right now. Oh. Uh, except fusion monsters is one of these lets you reset branded fusion, right? Uh, added hand branded directly from your deck. No, not that one. We'll just send Titini Clad. Clad, I think. I don't know if I have another copy of Ecclesia in my deck, but I do have a Dark Monster. At the very least, they can't go into... Oh my god, they had a fucking Light Monster in their hand? You have got to be shitting me right now. <laughs> What's with their fucking hand? They hard drew into a light monster? Friggin' driver. What is their hand? Like nothing but hand traps? Oh well. Another invocation? Wait, did they draw into another Alistair? He shitted and farted on you? There's no way he has another Alistair in hand. Driver is not a brick sometimes. Oh, I guess he just added it back. Dragon into a window. Fuck. Seriously, a dragon into a window? That was my only out. Well, I mean, they don't have any cards in hand now. And Ecclesia can't be destroyed by their cards. You're screwed? Ah, uh, not really. They don't have a way to negate with Makaba. And I have one special summon. My deck only really summons once. Fallen of Albaz. Summon it to the field? Um... No, I think it's better if I just, like, add it to my hand and then use it on my next turn. Do 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 do. Oh, they fucking Ash Blossom both of my cards. You stupid bitch. Okay. Oh, I use punishment. I'm a stupid idiot. <sighs> Albion ability fusion sounds by shuffling field graveyard. I forgot I was under the lock of punishment. Oh no. So I couldn't use Fallen of Albaz as a polymerization on legs. They now have one card in hand, which means one negate. Albaz with his girlfriend. Yeah, well, at least she can't be destroyed by battle. With monsters special summon from the extra deck. Now, this is what it means to get nay nayed. Their opening hand was so cracked. Ooh, there's no way they have a trap card in hand. I should be able to activate this next turn. To go plus 100. Turn. The card in hand, Ash number 3. Activate Soul of the Supreme King. You think they have a trap card in hand? Imagine if they drew to infinite impermanence. Oh! 
The thing is, they probably do have a monster in the hand, so they can just negate Supreme King Zark's effect when it tries to activate on field. Which means I can use Max C. Oh no. Squamata. Now they get to send any Shadal monster from their deck to the graveyard. Main phase one. They don't have anything they can do? That was it! They're walled off by that? Um, okay. Well, I need another counter trap, I guess. He's like the only Shadow player who plays Dragon in the world. So he was able to pop my other one. Set pass? I can't use it. I need to have another counter trap in hand, and it's just vulnerable on the field if I set it. Okay, terraforming for another magical meltdown to search out another Alistar, the invoker. Activating magical meltdown. Too strong for Zark. Magical meltdown. Uh-huh. They only get one special summon. Normal summon Alistar the Invoker. Activate its effect to search out Invocation from the deck. Then they'll probably go into a Link Summon. No, they have to use it right now. They have to use Invocation, otherwise they can't get around their own window. If they go into an extra deck monster to get Alistar in the graveyard, then they're locked for the turn. They have to use Invocation now if they want to be able to pop off, which means I can max C and then get negated. What are they doing? They're deciding so hard. They have two cards in hand. And then I just need to draw into another counter trap and I win. Literally unbeatable. Play Floofles. Invocation. There it is. Idiot. Idiot moron. What are the chances they have another s monster card in hand? Absolute zero. El Shadow Fusion. <laughs> wow, you got me. You got me with that El Shadow Fusion. Good job, Lily. Another El Shadal window. Okay. Maxi resolves, and then you still have to fusion summon. No one expects the fourth Ash Blossom. My Titini clan. What are they going into? Oh. I drew into a Bountiful Artemis. Not good enough. Target one wants your opponent controls and destroy it. Oh, it looks like they have game now. Are you still alive? Not for very much longer. I got all my stuff negated, unfortunately, and I didn't draw into enough counter traps. Rebirth is like the worst counter trap I can draw by itself, and I keep drawing it by itself. <gasps> Ooh, my food arrived. I'm gonna go grab my food real quick. This is a PSA, something I've been seeing in Twitch chat quite a lot recently. Sometimes you guys even tweeted at me. This is something I, I have to tell you guys. I have to come clean with this. I am not a human. I'm actually a 300 pound psychic spider who lives on the moon. Now, I know this might be hard to hear, but this is just something I, I have to let you guys know. Yeah, we already know you're not a human. You're a VTuber. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm, I'm not a VTuber. I'm actually just a spider who lives That's on the moon. That's just your VTuber lore. Wow, you really do stick to that, don't you? You know what? Just, just come here. We can talk about this in person. No, not again. I, I, I yeah, yeah, don't breathe. worry. I remember you can't uh, breathe here. Uh, We're going to go to the dimension of lost time. There, now you should be able to breathe. There's no concept of air or space in here. Anyways, so, we clear the misunderstanding. You understand that I'm, I'm just a big old spider 
Well, you're actually a VTuber, but whatever you say. Okay, good. There's something else I wanted to say. See, I, I was talking to my marketing agent today, and uh, they told me to stop making jokes about fake merch, because we're probably going to get real merch soon. Is that something you're interested in? Yeah, of course. I'll buy whatever you want. Just let me go home. Nah, you're just saying that because you're stuck in the dimension of lost time. Well, yeah, that's true, but I don't really buy anyone's merch, to be honest. But what would be a good price point for that? I'm not sure. How much would you pay for a limited uh, duration shirt? Well, I don't... How can I reach these kids? Hmm, let's get rid of one of those. Let's get rid of... I don't have any room to remove anything. <gasps> I can get rid of one of my punishments. There, now I have more. Um... Hey, the Duolox, it's Lily. Sorry for making, for the very fun TM Invoke deck. Just wanted to play a silly round. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I talk some mad shit whenever I'm dueling against someone. <laughs> Just know, it's playful banter. I don't actually think you're a buffoon and or a moron. It's all just played up because it makes for funnier clips. I lost fair and square. Get fucked, idiot. Idiot moron. Yeah, surely. <laughs> Got the real, not the real, real merch. Look, it's fine. I just recognize your name for and watch your sofa court video. I thought it was funny. Okay. Because I'm gonna keep talking mad shit whenever I, I duel people, because I think it's funny. <laughs> the duel logs is just toxic. I don't actually think the people I'm playing against are dumb or idiots. It's all just for show. If I get called on it, I will fold immediately. You can shit down your It's a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I know I'm. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I got absolutely destroyed by that. <laughs> Look at all their shit get banished. Look at them being able to do all their plays, even though their stuff's getting banished. Do you like dishing out pain as much as you like receiving it? I don't like pain. I like comfort and positive affirmation. Why do all of these cards play with the bandage zone as if it's the graveyard? Your stupid decks should not be able to do this. My cards are worth more than me. Early stream? The only reason I'm doing early stream is because I have no impulse control at the moment. Wait, are you playing Trickstar deck? Because, like, I have wanted to play a Trickstar deck forever, so please make it work so I can steal it. It has a Trickstar engine. It's not a Trickstar deck. It's a Counter Fairy deck. <laughs> Trickstar engine isn't really the same thing. Dragostapalia? What? Okay, you absolute buffoon. <gasps> oh, I can go into Dogmatica Ecclesia. But if I do that, it's effective to get negated by Dragostapalia. <gasps> you think I can bait it out? I'm going to try to bait it out. Two streams within 24 hours of each other? Yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Spider Logs. Hello there. Impulse control is cringe. I have major problems with impulse control. It is kind of detrimental, to be honest. <laughs> you absolute buffoon. Speaking of impulse control, thanks for the sub, Himiko VT. Wait, can I go into my cards now? Send one fusion monster from your deck to the graveyard. No, I can't. The effect won't work. Draw phase. Draw card. Have you played Forbidden Memories? You should do a speed run and stream over several streams. Forbidden Memories? No, people only want to watch Master Duel. Summon out Supreme King Zark. 
<gasps> oh, thanks for the sub, blue and the gray. You must have did that while I was gone, because I don't remember seeing that. You didn't add a rank 4 Xyz? No. Oh no, his effect is negated, and he didn't bait with the Dragostopalia. Now if he activates a spell card, I win. 100%. Did something happen that made you realize you need to control yourself more? Yeah. Where do I even begin? Where's my laundry list of things that I've done due to poor impulse control? Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. It's like my life is in ruins. I have too much work to do. I spend too much money. The vacation. <laughs> Isn't half your Snorlax merch? Half? Don't you mean literally all of it? Should I activate Soul the Supreme King? Oh, yeah. Banish this card. Do you have a life? Nope. I don't have any friends. Okay. Select cards to summon. I want this one. Because he can become immune to monster effects. And I want this one. Because he can screw over my opponent. If he tries to destroy my cards. And then I want this one. Because he can negate the effects of monsters with zero attack. And then I want this one. Because he has 3000 attack. Branded Fusion. Hazukashi. In my defense, my deck is called In Swole Chaddle, so you can't shit talk me too much. <laughs> the shit talk I was employing was basically just raging that all my cards were stopped. No friends, not even a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not gay, I've checked. What are they going into? Yet, you mean? What do you mean, yet? Normal summon Alistair Big Brain play. They sent Imp Chain and Fallen of Albaz. You've checked with an online test? Do you think they have online tests for that? Okay, Lubelion. I should be able to use Solemn Judgment on Lubelion. Because it activates an effect which would summon a monster. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> <gasps> when a monster would be summoned oh no it doesn't it doesn't work like solemn warning never mind I was thinking of warning not judgment no not strike strike would have worked too but I was thinking of warning specifically comedy has activated its effect no cheating on malicious bane what what the fuck are you guys talking about how can you betray dpe DPE, my best friend. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Do 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 do. Okay, what are they doing? Did you guys know the music that's played is dependent on your opponent's board? So if your opponents don't bother to play out a good board with music, there's just not going to be anything there. I'd kill for that, TBH. Me too, TBH. Okay, Spriggan's Kit. Alright, Spriggan's Kit's gonna come out. Logs is a committed relationship with a lovely labyrinth of the Silver Castle. You can't be in a relationship with a goddamn card. Y'all people need Jesus. It's $20, I'm thinking. I wish they had a new Cyber Dragon card for Rush Duel in the main TCG slash OCG. Wait, there's a new Cyber Dragon card in Rush Duel that's better than a TCG card? Aren't all the Rush Duel cards, like, garbage? They added Branded in red. Oh no, you think they're going to go into Guardian Chimera? And try to blow up my field? Don't say that in front of my girlfriend, Kenta Green. I don't know who that is. All the MD music is on Spotify, too? I don't use Spotify. I know pretty much everybody uses Spotify, but I don't. Sending that. I need to use Clear Wing Synchro Dragon now, which is going to bait out their negate for try to plant Dragostopalia unless they don't want to make my card immune to card effects this turn. Which they're absolutely going to do because that's the correct call. 
because now they can negate its effects, so it's no longer going to be immune to monster effects this turn. Equal to your opponent's monster's original attack. <gasps> oh no, now they can banish the card. Although if they don't banish Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, that's going to destroy all my opponent's cards. Yep, that's the correct choice. However, if they use Branded and Despia now to go into Guardian Chimera, which they're not doing apparently, huh? I thought for sure they'd go into Guardian Chimera. Please, don't destroy Artemis. I need that. For Solemn Judgment to draw a card. I need to draw a card right now. However, Starving Venom... God damn it. <laughs> Just destroy Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That way I can blow up your entire field, you absolute buffoon. Oh no. They're hitting all my cards. However, my other dudes all have 3,000 attack, you absolute buffoon. He needs to draw a card. I need to draw a card. Yes, the new Cyber Dragon, the Rush Duel. Are they good? Oh, he's attacking into... Oh, now it's going to blow up all your cards. Or is it supposed to? If this fusion coming... Oh, if this fusion summon card is destroyed. God damn it. Why? Why did they wait until the battle phase is branded in red? I could have drawn a card off of it. Now I can't do shit. Imagine reading cringe. Okay. Um I think they're good. Have a look. Who's good? Solemn judgment. Okay. Alright. Um well I can go into um nothing. Let's just destroy their cards for the hell of it, I guess. What are they gonna do? Nothing? Activate its effect to negate one of my effects that don't even do anything. These guys are just beat sticks. Oh wow, he's not gonna do it. Whoa, you absolute buffoon. The new Cydra cards. Wait, what? Branded Punishment? When did he search out Branded Punishment? I wasn't paying attention. Jerry Beansman's my beloved. He just brought back Dragostopalia. Last turn, end of turn. I looked away for one second and he uses both of my monsters to go into a fusion summon. Into his own starving venom fusion dragon. Okay, well, I'm dead. I wanted to lose anyway. I had too much ranking. I threw on purpose. <laughs> Man, I sure do love branded. Why do you keep changing the Solemn card's names? I don't. You keep changing them. I'm very smart, but then again, I want to see my skeleton dinosaur waifu come back to three in the TCG soon. Wait, what? Oh, is Miscellaneous Store still not at three? You're too good sometimes. You have to let other people win. I know. I had to nerf myself. Oh my god, this hand is cracked. Holy f Shinoli. Rebirth, Punishment, Soul of the Supreme King, and Artemis. This is like a godlike first hand. I can't possibly lose with this. Holy Pomu. I don't think there's anything they can do to out this board other than open like kaijus or some shit. Because I'm going to immediately go into Soul of the Supreme King. This card doesn't lock you anyway, right? I'm pretty sure there's literally no detriments to using this card. It's just like, you pay half your life points. And you get to stop your opponent from using spell cards for two turns. Max C? Uh, that's fine. I don't care if they use Max C. Branded opening? Branded opening? Uh, I think I will stop branded opening. Show one card in hand, discard this card, because I need to specifically shuffle a card on the field back into the deck in order to summon a card from the extra deck. 
That's why I'm using Rebirth now, because I can shuffle it back into the deck, which allows me to summon out Avenging Knight Parshath, and then draw a card off of Artemis's effect. <gasps> Ooh, a Max C! Oh, you absolute buffoon! You idiot! Then let's summon out my Royal Rare Supreme King Zark. <laughs> they draw one card. <laughs> You absolute buffoon. Aluber, the jester of the Despia. Go for it, idiot. If they use a spell card, I can just get out all of my negates. And then they're ham boned. Okay, branded fusion, super poly. Fuck, that's bad. Uh, I wasn't expecting to super poly. I can't respond to Super Poly with my graveyard card. <laughs> I also can't respond with a Max C either. He sent Snow, Quirtus. Okay. Deer the main phase, change all monsters to attack position to zero. Are they gonna go here? Is that their whole play? Branded Fusion? Max C now. <gasps> that super poly got me. That was so bad. That was that was the only play that would have completely hamboned me. I can say that you called it the poly, the super poly. I can't wait for Guru to come out and make super poly a staple bomb everywhere. Yeah, Guru is great. I'll make it a short video called like top top three cards of the twenty twenty two and Guru was on there. Fallen of Albaz into Titini clad, huh? Hmm. I think now is a good time to punishment. Just to get Titini clad off the field. I'm pretty sure Quirtus like floats into something great, right? What? Branded in red too? Didn't they search out branded fusion? No logs, no? What do you mean, no? I'm just trying to pop the Titini clad. It looks like that's not happening. You targeted Quertes, though? I know I targeted Quertes. That's why I can send a Tis to the graveyard to pop Titini clad. Because it has to be a monster less than 2,500 attack. He had to target Quertes. Oh my god. Oh no. He got me with that super poly. Aw, oh, you stupid bitch. Garura. Albion, the branded Despia, to banish that card, and then they get to attack for game because all my cards are gone. I can't believe it. I had such a cracked hand. And they beat me because they had super poly. Counter fairies? It was super poly. Super poly got me. Unlucky Super Poly. Ugh. Uh, it was it was it was only Super Poly. That was the only way they could have outed the board. My board was perfect. His hand was better. Literally, Super Poly was his only out to my board. Because if he activated any of his other spells, I could have chained my card in the graveyard, which would have got out a negate. Uh he was able to basically out my negate with his super poly. We should ban Super Poly for your opponent only. I don't think one negate was going to stop him. It would have. The thing is, he basically took away my negate and then used it to go advantage. <laughs> Must be nice to be back streaming home for the holidays. Hell yeah, I hate vacation. It was garbage. It was nice not having to talk to anyone for four days, though. Although, then I was starved for attention as soon as I got home. I was like, oh my god. I need to stream. I haven't had anyone to talk to for four days. <laughs> it was so... Um... I don't know. It was an experience. It was a nice detox from people. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. I just wanted to stream real quick because no one else was streaming. We'll send you guys over to, to Tina Chino. She's one of my favorite 
Yu-Gi-Oh! content creator, streamers. She's great. She's hilarious. She has a, a skeleton redeem that I like to, to redeem. I'll do it as soon as I'm over there. Yeah, I always watch Tina Chino. 